Hey, this is Getting Real with Hillary, and this is a new week with a new quote. So, <laughs> guess, who wrote, guess who wrote the quote? Me. So, here's the quote. Of course, now I forgot it. It's something like, <laughs> are you waiting for someone else to change so you can be happy? That's a good one, isn't it? So, where I made it up is when I was married, and if you read my book, The Second Piece of French Toast, you'll know that I was not happy. What I was doing was I was waiting for my now ex-husband to change so I could be happy. And every Sunday we would have these meetings and I would say, you know, we got to do this and we got to do that. We used to work together and I'm a planner and I would have the plan and these are the numbers we have to do and everything. And he would say, okay, come Tuesday, Wednesday, nothing had changed. He hadn't done the plan and, and anything. And so then I would be upset. So I was waiting for him to change and do what we had discussed on Sundays so we could make more money, pay our bills, you know, stop incurring the debt, all sorts of stuff that I didn't like. So I was waiting. One day, my daughter says to me, Mom, you have been having the same argument since I was born. This is not going to change. And I was like, oh, I, that had never occurred to me. It hadn't. I was like, wow. I kept thinking he was going to be different. And then I could be happy. I could have the life I wanted. If only he would change. So when my daughter said that, I realized, wow, you know what? He doesn't have to change. Why should anybody have to change? Especially to make me happy. He should be able to be exactly who he is, right? Then I was no longer upset, waiting for him to change, expecting him to change, and being disappointed when he didn't change, right? But here's the thing. I decided he didn't have to change, but I didn't have to live that way anymore. I didn't like debt. I didn't like the way he treated me. I didn't like where our relationship was, and I just decided, I'm done. I get to go have the life I want, and I'm not saying the answer is leaving your husband. Look, if he had been willing to work with me and talk and work it out and say, hey, what's wrong, and, you know, if we had been working on the relationship together so that we both could be happy, I would have stayed. I did not want divorce. That's not why I got married. It really wasn't. It was a hard, hard thing. So I don't mean to be flippant about it. But when I got to see that he shouldn't have to change, he should be exactly how he is, I wanted to be exactly how I am. I didn't want to have to be different so somebody could love me or different so, you know, someone else could be happy. Like, I just want to be able to be the best me there is. And that's why I'm doing Getting Real with Hillary. Getting at that real me instead of the people-pleasing, pleasant, phony person who doesn't speak up and then resents people, makes them wrong, and ends up alone. That, that's me. That, that's been my life. And i am decided I don't want that anymore. I want to be able to be the real me. I don't want to be with someone who thinks I should change. So I gave up thinking that about him. So that's my quote for you to think, huh, you know, I was talking to a woman today and she was like, you know, my son is like this and like this and like this. And I was like, look, I gave up just last week thinking my kids should be different, thinking they should do something other than what they're doing. I am no longer worried. I trust them to live their best life and they're doing whatever they're doing. My parents weren't involved in my, well, a little bit. <laughs> But I did my own thing. I got a job and I went and did my thing. They have a little bit of a different path. But I'm not going to put my happiness on what they're doing. That would be terrible. I can't control it. It's out of my power. So I gave that up and I told the woman, hey, let him do his thing. You're acting like how he is today 
at 21 is the way he's going to be at 30 or 40. He's just going through what he's going through. Envision his best life and send him off. Visualize that. And then you won't be upset. So anyway, she, she either will or she won't. But, you know, when we wait for someone else to change, how much control do we have? How much power? How much happiness? That's for you to look. I'm done. Tomorrow, uh, this may come out tomorrow, so now it's today. But anyway, my newsletter, my first newsletter is coming out. It's so exciting. So if you want to register, please subscribe to this. I'm still trying to figure out how to add people. Subscribe to this. Check out gettingrealwithhillary.com and my blog, which is different right now. I mean, as a, in a separate place, is creatinglifeouthere.com. So, or buy the book if you haven't done that already. Second piece of French toast available on Amazon. So we look forward to growing and expanding with you, and we love you exactly as you are. So thanks for tuning in to Getting Real with Hillary. Bye.